Hello, my beauties. I hope you're all well. It's been a while for me, and I'm finally getting around to doing today um, the Divine Masculine, the Father-Son archetype. Um, in my other videos, you'll see we've done um, we've done son-mother and uh, <clears throat> daughter-father, and so now I'm continuing. Um, because my videos are based on watching all my wonderful colleagues and their readings. I watch many, many, many. And there are similar themes that uh, occur. And it occurred to me that um, things like being stuck and a lot of inner child wounds and unresolved issues, um, but yet we don't know what to do or how to help <clears throat> ourselves and our potential partners or partners. So what I do is I take that and I work on um, where many issues come from, which is 50% um, mommy daddy issues and 50% inner child. So um, that's the theme of my videos, and I use um, I work on multi-dimensional, uh, the elemental soul and spiritual realms because. Um, the problems start on higher energetic levels and they manifest finally in the 3D. Same thing with any kind of illness. The toxicity is actually, or the blockages are somewhere um, in one of our higher bodies and they descend. So um, I'm going to try something a little bit different today in that I'm gonna do this part, which is will be the introduction. I'm gonna stop and then I'll do the um, the issues or the challenges and then the advice in three different parts. So this theme of father-son, I'm sure a lot of divine feminines are gonna say, oh, I don't need to watch. Uh, no, I thought about that too. Um, first of all, <clears throat> um, I realized that I'm a single mom and I have two sons and a daughter and um, I've been often forced to be in the role of father. And so that's interesting to see. And also, um, this is an opportunity to work on your inner masculine, because sometimes it gets a little, even within ourselves, and, and if you are a single parent or you are um, kind of doing it on your own for right now, uh, a, a lot of our energies could go too far in this kind of um, masculine energies instead of being coming back in and, and centering ourselves and our feminine, our softer, softer energies. So it's good for all that. So what I will do uh, is I will pause here and do the first part, which is involved with these cards, which are quite, they have, um, as you can see, both sides. So, and they're quite uh, elaborate and, and quite in depth. So I'm going to, I'm going to pull those first and then um, we'll continue with the reading. Stay tuned. We're back. Here we are. Um, let's jump right in. So Spirit, please be with me and help me to be a hollow bone so I can channel what needs to be heard by the collective. Thank you. So um, I asked for this first card. This is the father position, son, and what's happening in their relationship. So uh, when I ask, what was, what is the principal inner child wound in the divine masculine father archetype, it came up with simplicity. And the indications for this are <clears throat> basically, it's very classical kind of, I wanna call it maybe old school fathering where he was really had the control. And this is, this is someone who is strongly in their mental energy, very, very left brain. Um, there's like no time just to stop and like the little boy is doing and smell the flowers. And so this is a strongly uh, comp more complicated little bit, maybe rigid. And so um, I felt uh, in s that the core soul wound for the father archetype is betrayal because of this need to control. Betrayal of his softer energies, his feminine energies, as we'll see. I don't know if you can see. So on top it says the wound is betrayal. The mask is control. Yeah, someone who's strongly in their mental and their left side of the brain are, are control freaks. And the fear is of dropping, of not succeeding, not being good enough. Um, 
you know, not being on top of everything and, and what they really need to feel is confidence and this kind of a softening of that um, more kind of rigid control. So the advice is check if there was a promise or commitment. Maybe this um, father energy, the inner child of this father energy, uh, just just didn't have uh, confidence in it, didn't get it, and felt betrayed by the world, by his own parents, by whatever. So the need is to feel confident in who he is. And confidence is, C-O-N is, um, con is uh, um, with, and F-I is um, faith, with faith. So with faith in God. So it makes perfect sense that the... Um, chakra that is most affected is the crown chakra purpose ether and the mind <clears throat> um, purpose spirituality faith there it is confidence faith peace and selflessness so someone who's strong in the left brain could have a tendency and their need to control to kind of forget other people and we'll see that in a second with the sun energy um what I want to say, soul challenge, to be at one with the divine, the will to service and intuition. So there you go. Now, when I asked what was the principal inner child wound in the divine masculine um, son archetype, we'll come back to mom in a second. Be here now, okay? Be in the present moment. And so this one is a lot about um, being grounding our energies, wanting to be here, wanting to be on this planet, um, not avoiding, not running uh, back to the past or, or into the future. So some of the energies of this father to control probably um, evoked in the sun some need to escape, some escapism and avoid avoid the, the the restriction from a more controlling type energy and so um the soul wound i believe happening for the sun energy is a feeling of rejection rejection of his oh let me see if you could see that up close so rejection and the mask is escape or avoidance which could create any kind of a uh, dependences and um, addictions and there is probably a great fear because if you don't want to be here on present and be present clearly some fear is is functioning so it cause could cause some inner panic and anxiety and really the need is to find their place and belong so if you rejected um the thing the 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 sun archetype son needs to do is be here now and be, come back to his center come back to his heart space and come back to the present moment so um the the um <clears throat> wounding of the chakra is the throat chakra because there could be problems in communicating and affirming who he is if he's not being present and within himself so there you go with that and so when I ask what are the principal energies between or that affect between the two the father and the son we came up with mother which is very interesting now I have two takes on this one the the first take is that um both need to become in contact with them um, the the more right brain energy this this more feminine energy on, on both the father and the son, maybe the son transmitted that um, to his son. Um, if you're always trying to control something, you're also not seeing when you try to control so much the father. When the father tries to control, he probably wasn't actually having a good sense of who his his son was. So his son felt then rejected, right? So the mother energy so the first idea is to come back into this emotional back into the emotions and back to the feeling back to what's going on in the body back to the present moment for both the father and the son so it looks like in this relationship the father kind of passed on this 
this kind of anxiety of, of not wanting to be um, be here now. Um, the other possibility with this is that in a particular relationship, this might speak to somebody, is that maybe the mother energy <clears throat> got too involved or, or kind of blocked the father and son relationship. Maybe there was um, a, a positive relationship, but the mother energy um, became a little bit too emotional, too but dominant, too interfering, and and came between them. That's another way to read that. So, on that note, let us now ask, um, what does the son, what does the father's, uh, what message, this is the lone, loner wolf cards, what does the father's um, inner child want to what theme or what message does the father's inner child want him to um, to go away with and work on? Awe and wonder. That makes total sense. Uh, my mind is open and receptive. I choose awe and wonder over cynicism. Exactly. Exactly. So... It's the same idea of um, simplicity is, is to see the, the beauty and the awe and the wonder in very simple things. You don't need to control it. You don't need to pay for it. Sometimes it's just there right in front of you, to, uh, willing to grab. Just go back to that, that innocence and be like, as the Bible quotes, as only children will enter the kingdom of heaven. To enter that kingdom of heaven um, within yourself, within your own uh, center and peace is to come to this space of simplicity and awe and wonder. Very nice for the father. <clears throat> and now what does the inner child wish to communicate to the son archetype? Authenticity. Right. So when you're authentic, you're being, you have to be present to be authentic. <laughs> you can't be someplace else or avoiding being who you are, which is exactly right for the son's energy. And it says... I love and embrace who I truly am. Yeah. My guides and flaws are a natural part of me. Thank you, inner child, for that. That was very beautiful. That's exactly what they need to hear. Do you have to be authentic? you have to be present where you are now and stop avoiding your positives and negatives within yourself and be here now? So this part is going to be the, the last part of this little section, but we're coming right back, don't forget. So this is where I ask, um, I use the Major Arcana from the Carl Jung cards. I use the Major Arcana uh, to indicate the, the soul lesson, or so, it could be soul advice or soul um, gift for each um, of the archetypes. So what is spirit, the, the soul gift or lesson for the father archetype? Temperance, yeah. Balancing the balancing things out within himself, not going coming back into a centered space, balancing both his masculine and his feminine, coming more in touch with his feminine, and not just acting out of a, a kind of um, space. And then later, <clears throat> the second part will connect these um, these soul messages to. Uh, the shamanic medicine. And so we'll come back to those later. Put her here. And so, um, Spirit, please tell us what soul lesson, soul gift do you have to give to the sun archetype energy? The moon. Right, so this is um this is coming into about a couple things are coming um th this this correct um balance with within the feminine energy coming back to this 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 mother energy this um and not creating illusions and avoiding avoidances that this card can also mean 
So this is really appropriate also for the sun energy, the sun archetype of the moon. Yeah, I'm just noticing here you know, that you have a cockroach, you have the snake. The snake, the snake helps us in, shaman, in shamanism to help to, to shed the past. And then you have the balancing of the of the sun and the moon, moon being more feminine, the sun being more um, um, <clears throat> masculine in some cultures. And those two wolves, which wolf are you gonna feed? The past or or the future? And then there's that person that's right there in the center. So that's a perfect message for the sun energy. So here's a little pause. Okay, now we're moving on to the advice. And the advice is going to start from the kind of 3D elemental realm and work all the way up to spirit. So when we last connected not too long ago, um, we had temperance and what I did is I took the um, these cards the mystical shaman oracle and I connected them to the major arcana and so they're all and all the shaman, shaman is linked to the four directions which also have different practices depending on the on the um, the direction so there's the serpent and the jaguar and the hummingbird and the eagle and each one have four different practices linked to them so that's my method it seemed to work with it within the the logic of the thing so for for temperance um we had um the luminous warrior okay and that makes a lot of sense what we've already seen with the father energy in that um um, he needs to open up his crown chakra. He needs to become a luminous warrior. He needs to get out of his left brain and open up to spirit and all that is around him. So the invitation, as it says here, of the luminous warrior is... The luminous warrior reminds you it is important to focus on your power, wisdom, and beauty. Do not be seduced by what seems wrong with you or with the world. Remember that intention follows attention. So focus on your positive traits. Feed your light with more light until you truly feel empowered. Then there will be little need for action and you resolve all situations within. So the medicine is, are you being tempted? Sorry, I'm jiggling here. Are you being tempted by your emotions to follow your lower instincts? Are you being invited to enter into a quarrel with someone? Put your sword away. Put your, balance out with the feminine. Balance out with the feminine. Put your sword away. This is not time for a battle. Your enemy is not who you think it is. Do not act from a place of anger that will damage your relationships or hurt the ones you care for. His son, right? Find the truth hiding in your heart that will affirm your instinct for peace rather than for war. So this is a, a very great card for the father archetype who was feeling really much in that control energy. Uh, I, I really was sensing like he was kind of like the burrow, kind of get easily angry, easily telling people off uh, or, or too much in that left realm, not opening up to spirit. And so for the, very, very interesting for the, um, for the moon, there is the moon. So this one's directly connected. This one does not, my um, organization of the cards in terms of the major arcana does not fall into one. And the practice, but hold on one second, one second, one second. The practice for that is non-engagement. And this is also perfect because it just said in that, it said in that um, Four Insights by uh, Roberto Alberto Villado, um, the luminous warrior uh, is is the way of the jaguar who is supposed to be fearlessness and has no enemies. And so this this was linked to non engagement. So the practice for that that father archetype: do not take part in battles. Give up the need to be right. 
always believe the best of other people's words, intentions, and actions. So that's completely perfect with, it said for the medicine, lay down your sword. Give it up, buddy. Stop fighting. Go tree hug. <laughs> I don't know. So the, um, <clears throat> the moon, with the moon, okay, there are already archetypes. They weren't linked to one of the four directions. Um, in the opening ceremony and the closing ceremony of the shamanic practice, we often address grandmother moon. So this is a grandmother. It's, a, it's still a feminine energy. So this is very interesting for this, this son who maybe felt disconnected from his feminine energy, from the masculine energy that his father was giving him. So the moon is, of course, about cycles, which is interesting. Men have cycles too, maybe not like the moon. So, you know, I think your cycles are, are, are Uranian. So look that up. Um, the invitation, the moon spends equal time in dark as it does in the light of the sun. And now it comes to remind uh, you of this balance. Yeah, so not running or escape past, going back to the past or going into the future and not, it's finding that balance within the cycles, balance of light and dark within ourselves. Um, have you been too focused on outer achievements, productivity or social engagements? Or have you spent too much time hidden from the outer world, not wanting to interact or show your face? Meditate on the significance of the moon cycle and let it gently guide you out of your bottomless depths. Head back to the part, head part, oh, Lola, excuse me, head back to the world of outer expression and connection with others. Let it help you make time for yourself, your feelings, and your essential human and spiritual needs. So this is this is um. This is very interesting if, if all your divine masculines are sons of somebody. So this is very interesting for also the divine masculine um, to find that balance space. Be here now. Be present. Um, you know, don't spend too much time in the man cave um, and balance all those things out. The medicine is this card calls you to go on a journey of renewal, just like the moon does every month. So you can get unstuck unstuck go into your feminine energy and get unstuck cycle um whether from a specific or life or in general for this you need to make time to be with yourself without the distractions of modern society and have the courage to look at the unwanted and unembraced parts of your being until you arrive at a place of resolution shamanic lore explores that the finest treasures of humanity are hidden where people are afraid to go most. Yeah. So that's, that's coming back to this um, idea that the sun energy archetype wants to escape. Okay. He wants to escape himself. He doesn't want to confront himself until he, that, he can't be in, a, if he can't be in a relationship with himself. How in God's name can he be in a relationship with anybody else? Moving on, now we're going to go, that was the earth-based, the earth-based, um, uh, now we're going to move into um, um, the elementals, and we're going to look at the fairies, who are beings of the air. I will list all the decks, which I usually do, it's the same one so far. So fairies, please tell us what advice do you have for this father and son, divine masculine, archetypal relationship. Hi Priestess, we're getting Lots of um, going inside, uh, coming inside with that more feminine energy, that more mystery, trusting intuition. So the father energy, as well as what he transmitted through his energy to his son, uh, needs to get in contact with this um, spiritual energy. Again, the crown chakra, very interesting. Please give us some more advice um, now for the um, 
for the sun. The seven of autumn, which is the seven of discs. Have patience and don't worry. Take time to rest and plan your next steps. Be prudent, invest in time and money. That makes sense. To go to go inside. Uh, find some balancing out time and uh, seven of yeah, the seven of discs. You have patience with yourself, and but don't don't avoid yourself. Be patient with yourself, but don't avoid yourself. And then how can fairies? How can they improve the relationship between themselves and? Um, Heal that. What advice do you have for that? Eight of winter, eight of swords. You have what it takes and only have to believe in yourself. Thinking that you're powerless when you're not. A lack of self-confidence. Oh, whoops. We heard that over here. Soul wound, lack of confidence. Uh, da -da. That keeps you from getting what you want. So... In terms of communicating, what's maybe missing is com everybody having confidence and raising raising the level of communication to a, a more emotional and spiritual level and not just being stuck in the 3D mess. Next, we're moving up now um, to our plant oracle. So... What we do here is we make a little plant and we ask what growth do we see in, in healing in, in this relationship. So the seed, the seed card is going to be watercress, well-being. I cleanse my body and reflect on the purity of my soul. Coming back into yourself, that's what that means. To have well-being, with, you have to be inside yourself. You have to come back into your body. You have to come back and confront yourself. To have, be how, Look at it all, the dark and the light. <clears throat> what is then the next part of the growth of the sprout that will come out of this coming back to our well-being? Can we see? No, we can't see that card. Oop, sorry. I own a penny work, transparency. I acknowledge and respect all aspects of myself. I am the light. Yeah, so once the divine masculine, both sides come back into acknowledging all parts of themselves, not just their left brain, they will come back into the light and they'll come back into balance. So what growth can we expect from, expect, expect from this relationship and these changes and this advice? Sea pink, harmony. I unify all energies within my being and welcome the balance and harmony. Boom. And now, what's the stem? Expression. There we go. Who had the shock? Yeah, the sun. They'll be able to communicate. Once you get... When you feel in the sense of well-being and you're looking at yourself being in your body, then you come into transparency that you acknowledge and respect all aspects of yourself. You will build, you will feel more harmonious. They will feel more harmonious and then they'll be able to express at a higher level. And finally, what is the flower? What will be the outcome once these transformations are made? Harabel, alignment. I align myself with the spirit of abundance and have faith, again, faith, that all my needs are met. So once, once what will cause the, the, the harmonious coming together of this, these archetypes, the healing within these archetypes, is to, um, they will once again be aligned when they can confront these, be transparent with themselves. When they, when they come into a harmonious place, they can more harmoniously communicate and heal the relationship because they'll be aligned in the goal of the root being rooted in their own and both of their well-being. Next, um, I'm going to add, now we're, now we're going up higher in the realms. Um, I think, 
in this world that we're living in that seems to have uh, morality and and what is right is wrong it seems uh i i've made little cards that they're actually tinier than i thought so i'm really sorry about that so i'm gonna have to read them to you i made sins and virtues and so these are the um seven deadly sins uh, the ones that are biblical and also the ones that the, there's a couple that overlap with the Greek philosophy. So now we're going to look at that. So what um, sin or virtue is at our disposition for the father archetype? Justice. And it's a virtue. Accountability, doing what is just and fair and equality. Words of wisdom. Justice, justice cannot be for one side alone. It must be for both. Right. For him, it's the, the justice is the coming into balance and to into uh men acknowledge even acknowledging um his feminine aspect. Okay. And what could have been an, another soul wound i see the, for the opposite of this virtue so when 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 he can be when the father can be accountable for his entire being and for his um um coming into balance within himself could show that then to his son but the opposite meaning was injustice which is also a soul wound and what is the vice or virtue, or the sin or the virtue for the archetypal son and the collective? Kindness, free deeds, upliftment, politeness, compassion. The words of wisdom are a part of kindness consists in loving people more than they deserve. And the opposite of that is being prideful. So what what the uh, what virtue the the son has going for them is his kindness, and maybe the first person to be kind to is himself. Now we're moving up the world into the universal laws, which I made these myself. <laughs> the twelve universal laws. There's actually I think a bunch more, but let's just start with twelve. So what universal law is um, activating within this archetype of the father-son, divine masculine? The law of cause and effect. And what I'm saying is, this is true the the cause of effect if the father is a certain way the his influence will definitely will definitely rub off on his son okay and so every action has a consequence so the consequence could be is that the the wounding gets passed down the generations <clears throat> universal law now we're going to get some final words we're going to move up to our angels which i see in the form of unicorns they give really good advice the unicorns they're definitely t speaking to us from a soul level dear unicorns what is your advice to help heal the collective father son divine masculine wounding Flight. Let your creative imagination fly. I think that's more for the father, because we want we don't want the son energy to escape, be, be avoiding too much. I think the father needs to learn what his son is reflecting back for them is to to go into imaginary world, not necessarily be grounded on this earth plane all the time. What about for the sun, unicorns? What do you want to tell him? What good advice do you have today, please? Feather. Feather. 
And it says, this calling card from the unicorn tells you they are near you. So that sun energy is protected and they're t looking after him. The angels are looking after him. They're guiding him right through. And now, spirit, how do you got her back? This um, spirit's got your back cards for the final messages. Spirit, how do you have the Divine Mask and Father's back? When I focus on my inner light, the, the Father's getting a lot of, lot of information about light today. I think that's like all he's gotten. Luminous Warrior, uh, Flight and Light. We're, we're really getting a strong message for the Father archetype. When I focus on my inner light, I see the world through the lens of love coming back to his feminine the lens of love and spirit how do you got the back of the sun archetype please tell us This is good for both of them. I surrender to a power greater than me. Both of them need to reconnect to spirit. They're only connecting in their left brain, which is only ego. Thank you, spirit, for that. And look at that beautiful butterfly, which is a sign of transformation. I surrender. So, my friends, thank you. And be on the lookout for the next upcoming video on the mother-daughter archetypes. Um, I will put up also a meditation, a guided meditation visualization on this with um, a lot of the affirmations that came through. Love and peace.